There is this wonderful phrase and very ambiguous phrase from Igor Stravinsky saying that it's not enough to hear music, one has to see it. And uh, ambiguity is really something which corresponds very much to this Brahms Symphony No. 3 because it starts with this proclamation of happiness and yet every movement finishes very soft. That's probably, I think, the reason why this piece is so less often performed than any other Brahms symphony. I looked at the, the archives of the Cincinnati Symphony Orchestra and the Brahms First Symphony, for instance, was performed more than 200 times, but B Brahms Symphony Number no. 3, only 80 times. And yet, many musicians and music lovers say, oh, this is the most beautiful Brahms Symphony. And uh, is it your favorite Brahms Symphony? Absolutely. <laughs> Especially this weekend, period. <laughs> <laughs> but for, for all these reasons, though, it's, it's so enigmatic, ambiguous. E yes, sure, joyous at the beginning, but there's even tinges of, I don't know, one can sense the journey it took to arrive at this moment of joy. And there's a lot a lot happens to get us there. That's always how I feel at the beginning of this symphony. And it just gets more and more complex and more layered. And the textures, the orchestration, the, the emotional content is just, it's incredible. It's like nothing else. I mean, this, this symphony is unlike any of his others. It just has this, well, for lack of a better word, freedom that, that some of the other symphonies don't have. I mean, all of Brahms' symphonies have this richness of, of color and of texture and of orchestration, but this, this symphony just feels like it has this underlying flowingness through, throughout, and, and you just feel like you're soaring and, and swimming and flying. I mean, whatever, however you want to feel it, but just has this almost weightlessness contrasted with these moments that are so heavy or, or nostalgic in a way. So the contrast just makes those victorious moments seem that much greater. It's just a joy to play. Brahms has this genius of once you hear it, you're immersed in it, you, it stays with you. And this is, this is just something phenomenal.